Hi everybody, my name is Dave, welcome to my channel British Trucking. Okay, in this video I'm going to explain what is needed to become a truck driver. How to obtain your HGV driving license. So, let's get started. Firstly, if you're considering becoming a truck driver, you need to be a holder of a full UK driving license before you can apply for a provisional HGV driving license and you also must be at least 18 years of age. Uh, you need to obviously love driving as this is what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis during your job. Uh, think hard before committing yourself to the cost of obtaining a HGV license as it would be an expensive mistake if you find you can't drive a vehicle for 9 hours or even 10 hours a day twice a week which some jobs may require. Also you need to be prepared for long days or nights as sometimes you may be working 12 or even 15 hours maximum to complete a shift. Uh, the, earnings, the earning potential of driving a truck can be rewarding but if it can be hard work also but if you love driving then you'll enjoy a great truck driving career. Once you're sure that this is the career for you, then your journey can begin. There's two types of license, a Class 2 license and a Class 1 license. Uh, the Class 2 license, which is known as Category C, will need to be passed before you can apply for a Class 1 license, which is Category C plus E. To apply for a license, you'll need to fill out two forms, a D2 and a D4 which can be ordered from the .gov website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below uh, for you to obtain these forms. You'll also be required to have a medical, which is the D form, a D4 form effectively, which you'll be charged for. So search the internet for local centres that uh, provide that service and also ask other truck drivers for advice because they're the best people to know where to get a medical. When you, can, when you get your provisional license, you'll need to complete a CPC. This stands for Driver Certificate of Professional Competence. To complete this, as a new driver, you'll need to complete four tests. Now, part one and two is the theory test and hazard perception test. These are very similar to taking a car license. Uh, part 3 and 4 consists of your driving ability and practical demonstration tests. You'll be assessed by an examiner and uh, driving on the road, asked some safety questions and performed some off-road exercises. And These two parts can take approximately an hour and a half. Uh, so once you've achieved all that, you will be a qualified Class 2 HGV driver. Yay! Sounds daunting, but in reality, it's not as bad as it sounds. Just go through each step, one at a time, and it's surprising just how quickly it all comes together. So once you've obtained your Class 2 license, uh, you're then able to apply for your Class 1 license if you wish to do so. Uh, but to be honest, my advice would be to get some driving time get used to the job and gain some experience driving class 2 before doing that. Uh, well, that's all there is to it. Um, so, driving a truck for a living, it's a great job. But like every other job, there'll be elements of the job that you will like, such as the driving. But there'll also be elements you don't like, such as long hours, sometimes being away from family and friends. But if you have to spend the night out in a truck, that's part of the job. There's many types of truck driving, long distance driving, local based delivery driving, multi drop driving and many more. So you may find that finding the type of driving that suits you best could take some time. Um, you could think about starting out perhaps agency driving which would be a good option. Uh, this will give you some experience in different sectors of HGV driving. Um, when you decide what you like as a particular type of truck driving, you can then look for uh, local companies that have the right job just for you. Well, that's it. I hope you found this video interesting and of some value. If you, uh, if you did, it would, be, it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel. 
and uh, perhaps leave a comment below and um, hopefully give us a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.